Anna Koshmal. Alexander Nikitin. Stasia. Stanislava Kostiantinovna. Volodymyr Horslavates. Happy birthday. Irina Hrishuk. Daddy. Happy birthday to you too. <laughs> Oleksandr Hanakinko. Okay, open the curtains. Look there. Artur Lohe. Is that what you wanted? Svitlana Zelbud. Yes, can we go for a ride? Sure, let's go to mom. Give me a minute. Okay. In three colors of love. Awesome. Written by Alina Zuyeva. Just let the expert do the test drive. Dad. You drive all the time. That's right, it's time to step down. Never. I have the right for my little relaxation. I want to drive. Okay, fine. I've tested it already. Boris, take off the bow. I think she'd be proud of you. Not of you, though. Tamara Litvak. Why? Episode 1. She'd want you to be happy. I am. I have a successful business and the best daughter. You know what I mean. No woman can be as perfect as your mom was. Maybe you should look harder. Do we need anyone else? I'm going away for two years. It's okay. I can wait till you get your MBA. Come back to be my co-CEO. And then give me grandkids. Not anytime soon. Let's go. Seriously, you need to get a life. I heard you talking to some Irina on the phone. Who is she? If I find someone real, you will be the first to find out, okay? Okay. Tulip. Good job. Okay. Now. Stop. Stop. Breathe. Look at me. Don't panic. It's just a car. Okay. Here, look through the pictures again. Alaya, can I talk to you? Is something wrong? I don't know what to do. They have raised the rent again. I won't be able to pay salaries. I might have to shut down the center. Why don't I take a couple more students? I can survive without my pay for a while. If it helps, we'll get through it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yes, Clara, I'm listening. Yes, my dear. Alaya says they need more students. Clara, an adult, responsible person would be perfect. Thank you, my dear. Granny, I'm home. Well, how have you been? My Alzheimer has been good today. <laughs> Why haven't you eaten anything? I haven't? No. I must have forgotten. It's okay, we'll eat together. No, it's unbearable being a burden for your beloved granddaughter. Don't you ever say that? 
Was I a burden for you when we were left alone? You were just a baby when your neglecting mother Ella with that man. You and I decided to forgive her a long time ago. You decided. I can't do that. Making your own child suffer because of a so-called great passion? It's the nurse. A nurse? What for? To make sure you don't forget to eat. For one, she'll also keep you company at your walks. It has come to this. Hi. Hi. I'm Laura, the nurse from the agency. Great, please come in. Granny, we have company. I've looked up the new investors. And, well, they are no angels, but also no villains. That's good enough. We don't have many angels flying around. Hi, gentlemen. Happy birthday to your daughter. Is it urgent? Any bookkeeper's business is urgent. I just wanted to know if I'm invited to the party. I need to go. I'll print out my summary on the investors for you to have a look. Okay. Well. I need to go to the salon if I'm invited. Ira, do you really need to rub it in? What did I say? We had an agreement. I'll see you on Wednesday. We'll go to the same restaurant. Just the two of us. I see. As always. You're compartmentalizing. Don't pout. Me? <laughs> Never. I'm a very patient person, Kostya. Meaning? When your Stasia goes abroad and find herself a husband there, then we will talk. When you'll be wailing from loneliness in your castle. Okay, it's ready to get processed. By the way, you promised to help me find the tutors. Stasia only has three months to brush up on her English. What would you do without me? The Dean of the Foreign Languages Department recommended this girl, a professor's granddaughter, fluent in three languages, shall I call her? A professor's granddaughter? Doesn't it smell of mothballs? At least she is the best. I want someone who can teach my daughter how to be a woman. No tutor can teach one that Kostya. That's not what they're paid for. A woman living in the same house, though sophisticated, with good taste, not being paid for it, she could lead by example. The girl wouldn't become a tomboy. Pass it on. Thank you. You contradict yourself, Capitolina. You didn't like your daughter having boyfriends. You don't like your granddaughter having none. She needs a husband, Clara, a good man. Darling, they are hard to find these days. That's the problem. Elia told me you had found her a pupil. A grown-up. Just like Elia wanted. She needs a crush course in conversational speech. Her dad is a rich businessman. She is probably a spoiled brat. I didn't ask. They'll pay. That's what matters. My poor girl. I wish I didn't have Alzheimer. She has been working since she was 18. That's not what I wanted for her. I'm like a millstone on her neck. I really need to do something about it. Shall I tell the businessman to go ahead? Yes. Someone called Eleonora Pavlinska says she has an appointment with you. Eleonora. 
Oh, right. The English teacher. Let's go. Hello. Hi, I'm Alaya. Nice to meet you, Kostya. I mean, Kostyantin Litvek. Hi. Hi. I'm sorry, I'm late. The traffic in the city is hell. Meet your pupil, Stanislava. This is Eleonora Pavlinska. Just Alaya. Hi, nice to meet you. Do you really speak three languages? Actually, five. My grandma says any decent person needs to speak at least three. See, Dad, we're ignoramuses. Right. Maybe we should do something about it. Why don't we discuss it over a cup of tea? How long has your grandmother been ill? She was diagnosed three years ago. She stopped teaching and focused on her research. Unfortunately, it pays virtually nothing. So you're doing it all alone, the pupils, the center, the Alzheimer. I would never pull it off, Quince Jam. By the way, it's really good. It's not that bad. I never even gave it a thought. Grandma always took care of me. Now is my turn. No, it's actually, Dad, can you believe it? In addition to speaking all these languages, Stasia also teaches kids with autism. She even teaches English to them. It's just a job. Please sit down, here. Is it true that all autistic people are geniuses? Well, you could say that. They are all fantastic. Can I meet them? Stasia. What? I won't interfere. I just observe. It isn't the point. I'm afraid our center will close soon. Why? Financial difficulties. Dad? What kind of difficulties? We are a private enterprise. And the business side is suffering. Our company could make a monthly donation on the books. Wait, you mean just like that? Yes, we've been sponsoring orphanages and nursing homes. And how did you hear about us? Someone mentioned you, I don't remember who. This is so unexpected. I've been going door to door. I should get going, if you excuse me. Email me your monthly expenditure sheet to this address. Of course. I'd like to ask you a favor. Please don't make our relationship public. But I'll need to tell my staff, at least. I'm sure you can do it without mentioning me. Bye. Bye. Alaya. Alaya, we're saved. We have a sponsor. Yes, I'll meet you at our cave. Litbuck. Poor Alaya. What kind of life is this? Being a burden. There is nothing to be done. We all have to bear our cross, whether we want it or not. God has a plan for each of us. Laura, you're a veritable Diogenes. From an early Christian era? Shall we take a break? I've bought you tons of things, books, food. You said you were in a financial pitfall. Not anymore. We have a guardian angel now. Isn't it nice? Are you cold? No. We've been walking a lot. Alzheimer was keeping us company. Don't think about it. That's all. That's all for today. The lesson is over and I like to spend time with you. Me too. Um, is it Mr. Litvak? Yes. 
That's how dad is, home and work, work and home. He doesn't want anything else, he has become such a bore. He doesn't look like a bore to me. He's awesome. Hi, ladies. Are you done for today? You are, let's have tea. I've brought a cake. Come on, come on, follow me. Let's go. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. God, I forgot to tell Boris something. I'll be right back. Why are you looking at me like this? I am by you. I feel that if someone has a mom or a dad, they have to be awesome by default, the best. Don't you remember yours? Not at all. Are they dead? Both of them? I don't know. How come? Yes, I never even saw them. My mom was so tired of Granny's strict rules that she elloped with a visiting hunk right after giving birth to me. She never came back. Unbelievable. You poor thing. So anyone who didn't abandon their child is awesome enough for me. Have you ever thought of looking for her? If she has never tried to see me, why would I force her? Besides, it would hurt Granny's feelings. She swore never to mention her. I've never seen my mom, either. She died to let me be born. Dad never remarried. I want seconds. Is the cake any good? Mr. Lidvak, I wanted to tell you, of course, I respect your decision to help the center anonymously. But I'm so grateful to you. You can't imagine how much you have done for our kids, how important it is for them. Thank you so much. Good night. My grandmother is waiting for me. Hi. Svetlana and I knocked at every door. You should see those smug, well-fed faces. They'd all say the same thing. Our company has reached its limit in terms of charity. And Mr. Litvak, I mentioned it only once, and... I understand, darling. What is it you understand? That your Litvak is a remarkable man. Why my Litvak? He is just remarkable. When a woman talks about a man so much, it means that something is brewing between them. <sighs> Granny, you are jumping to conclusions. I'm just telling you about a person. Darling, bring me the Semajology book. It's on the upper shelf in the library. Why do you suddenly need it? I just want to look up some definitions. Can you do it for me? Of course. Koschianton Litva. Hello. I'm Capitolina, Alaya's grandmother. We need to meet in person. It's quite urgent. Please write down the address. I've never realized what it means, being classy. Never. I can see it in Alaya, though. What do you mean? What do I mean? Nobleness. Do you know what it means? I forgot. See. I can see it in Alaya. You know, why does she work with those kids? It doesn't pay well, it doesn't look good on a resume either. And yet she works with them, looks for new methods, teaches English to them, worries about them. She was prepared to work unpaid, too. Right. 
She isn't an ordinary girl. I agree. Have you fallen for her by any chance? I've seen you. Come on. The way you look at each other. Quit playing a detective. She could be my daughter enough, I said. Excuse me. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. By all means, come in, we have nothing to hide. If you ask me, I don't think it's right to invest in the disabled. You should support young, ambitious, talented people, able to serve the humanity. What can these vegetables offer the humanity? People with autism aren't disabled. They are just different. Some of them become brilliant scholars. Give it to me. Well, the school arm has already converted you into her faith. Cut this nonsense. What? <laughs> Is Boris right? Are you in love? You can go now. Okay. God, you look gorgeous. Do you want me to put the cake in the oven? Doe doesn't like change of hands, darling. Even if they are shaky like mine. By the way, give me my sedative. I don't remember taking it today. Elias said you took one. Give me another one. I can't entertain a guest when my hands are shaking. I hope I don't forget his name. Yesterday, I couldn't remember Clara's name when talking to her, Clara. I also forgot the subject of my doctoral thesis. This is unbearable, and it will get worse. It's okay, you can get used to anything in this life. Alaya will remind you or I will, right? Especially the title of my thesis. How am I supposed to live with it? Hemlock is hard to get, so it has to be a noose. It's a sin to say such things. You're a professor. After all, I'm an old atheist. Lara, God doesn't scare me. Maybe you should have warned Alaya. What if she doesn't like your idea? I don't have time for this, my friend. What if I lose my mind tomorrow? And I don't even know the man my granddaughter is so fond of. Good evening. Good evening. Miss Capitolina. That's me. Please come in. Thank you. This is for you. Thank you. I'm Costianton. Nice to meet you. Same here. Hi. Hi. Come on in. The cake will get cold. Please come on. Take off your coat. Thanks. When you get immersed in the language environment, everything you've learned will resurface, you'll see. I'm so grateful for you in my life. You could be a hundred-year-old nag. She'd bore me to death. Tell Kostiantin I said hi. Yes, sure. I barely see him. He has been weird lately, distracted, smiling to himself. Maybe he is in love. In love? Wouldn't it be nice? I don't want to leave him here alone. Well, bye. Bye, thanks.
It was a pleasure. Excuse me, you insisted on meeting me because... Because Alaya is obviously smitten by you. And I wasn't acquainted with her love interest. I thought you wanted to talk about your illness. I would be happy to help you in any way. Don't disappoint me. Talking to a lady about her poor health is bad taste. It's just that I have a suitor named Alzheimer. Goodbye. Goodbye. I would marry someone like him. Right now you should go home. Right? You'll miss your bus. Will you be okay without me these two days? I will. Are you sure? Yes. Don't forget to take your meds. I won't. See you. Tomorrow. It will be tomorrow. Miss Elia, your classes have helped my son come out of his shell. Really? My daughter has also become more emotional. It means we are going in the right direction. Of course. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you. Alaya. You look fantastic. Really? Do you like it? I love it. Thanks. Coffee? Lara asked for a day off to go out of town. I have to run. Sorry. Bye. Hi. 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 Granny, look what I've brought you. Tomorrow Litva. I'm sorry.
My baby. My darling. My love. I never called you that when I was alive. I was afraid I'd spoil you because life never indulged you. You couldn't afford to be weak. Now, I'm sure you have someone who will love you, protect you, and even pamper you. It's time for me to go towards something I never believed in. Maybe Mr. Alzheimer and I will become friends. I won't be a burden for anyone. Forgive me. Goodbye. Be happy. Give my best to Mr. Litbuck. He is a nice person. Thank you. I don't know how I'd have handled it alone. Not at all. I still can't believe she left me. She didn't want to ruin your life. She was an outstanding woman. How will I live alone? I don't know how to live without her. I've been meaning to say. Of course. I can't replace your family for you. No. But you can always count on me. I have a great idea, Alaya. Why don't you stay at our house tonight? You shouldn't be alone on a day like this. Thank you, but I... I think it would be right if you stayed with us for a while. Yes. I'm sure Miss Capitolina wouldn't object. Let's go. Good morning. You're up already? Wait. I need to tell you, listen. We're both grown UPS. We both knew what was going on between us. Absolutely. Once a week, no strings attached. But it also stopped after this little pimple showed up, Costia. What is it she can do that I cannot, in life or in bed? It's not about her. You know, I won't just let you go. Irina, this is ridiculous. Nothing is going to happen between us. I'm sorry. I really am. Okay. You don't know me yet. She had this one made for her thesis presentation. She bought this cameo at an antique shop, too. Do you want it? to wear it in my potato field. Lara, you work with people. Not anymore. Why don't you keep the cardigan? I want Granny's clothes to be of use to someone else, especially to you, my dear Diogenes. Your Diogenes couldn't keep your grandma safe. She talked to me about it, but I had no idea. She was serious. Maybe it was easier for her than becoming helpless. Do you live at the Litbacks now? Yes. Stasia offered me to stay with them so that I wasn't alone. <laughs> what about Mr. Litbuck? What about him? He didn't mind. <laughs> Capitolina was right. About what? About you liking Litbuck? He is an amazing person. So noble, generous. Do you love him? 
I admire him. Isn't it love? You mean you abandoned everything to help an old lady you barely knew only because she was Aliyah's grandmother? Dad, what's going on? I don't know. She's almost your age. Who? The grandmother? Stasia, I don't feel like joking. I don't even know how to approach her. In a bold cavalry attack, I'm a girl. I know what I'm talking about, Dad. I really want you to be happy. Just please be careful. I'm here if you need me. Okay. I need to go. I'm out of here. You to take care. Cavalry attack. Hi. Hello. I've got a surprise for you. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Your turn. Okay. Let's go. I got you. Beautiful. Yeah. I love you. Where have you been? Okay. Okay. It's good that you're both here. Yeah. I want to make an announcement. Would marry me? Okay. May I? I so want you guys to be happy, and I'm so happy that you are together. Wait. Are you saying I'm going to miss the wedding? Wait. What do you mean? Wedding? With a veil and the dolls on the limo and a crowd of strangers? I'm not ready. I don't want that. Great. It will be a family affair. Just you and I. Yes. I'll think of something, Alaya. We are meeting with our Italian partners tomorrow. And the interpreter has fallen ill. I'm not familiar with financial terms. On the other hand, I have all night to catch up. Okay, then tomorrow we drive the kid to the airport and go to the office. Right. Hello. Hello, hi. 
Come in. Get back to work. Replacing me with this wallflower? Okay. I love you, wife. I love you, husband. A selfie. Let's do it. Yes. yes. Got it. Here. Maybe we should go to the restaurant. Why should you cook? I can still announce the change of plans. I asked Lara to help with the cooking. She really needs this gig. Do you mind? No problem. We can start our own family tradition. Right. Please come inside. Feel at home. Come on in, dear guests. Come on, come inside. Hi. What are you doing here? Am I not welcome? Since when? Uh. No need to apologize. You forgot to invite a friend to a party. No big deal. I'm not mad at you. Are we celebrating the Italian contract? Okay. Lady of the house. Who is playing the role today? My friends, let me introduce my wife Eleonora Litvak. My Olaya. Congratulations. Don't do anything stupid. Do you want to lose your job in addition to losing a lover? A kiss. A kiss. A kiss. What are you waiting for? Sit down to the table. Thank you. Just a sec. Here. You guys already know that I love you. And you know I'm happy to have such a great stepmom. What you don't know is that I really want a brother or a sister, so please think about it. And now, a kiss. A kiss. A kiss. Cheers, bottoms up. Don't worry, I'm not a sore loser. From this moment on, it's nothing personal, only business. I'm really happy for you, I promise. I'll throw away the key to the garden gate, congratulations. Thank you. Anna Koshmal. Hey. Oleksandr Nikitin. Never mind, Irina. She's a bitch, but also a brilliant bookkeeper. I need her. Volodymyr Horslavates. You never said you invited her. I didn't. She invited herself. Irina Hrishek. You aren't just colleagues, are you? Oleksandr Hanakinko. Recently, there has been only one woman in my life. You, Irina, will never come to this house again. Artur Lohe. Listen, I've been around the block, and I'm no angel. Svitlana Zelbud. Promise me you won't be jealous of my past. I love you. In. I had been looking for you for 20 years. 
Trust me. Three colors of love. Let's go to the guests. Written by Alana Zuyeva. Director, Serhii Borchikov. Director of Photography, Oleksandr Klimenko. Stage out. Listen. Are you dabbing in modeling there? No, but the pictures were taken by a pro. Look at the composition, the depth. Right. How are you? How is my little bro? I'm fine. I keep working for the company. I have a lot of translations to finish. I see. Talk to you later. Then, bye, love you. Yes, bye. Episode 2 I can't wait for you to meet my family. By the way, Aliyah liked your works. She knows what she's talking about. Baby, I'll tell you something you already know. You're awesome. And I love hanging out with you. But I sold my apartment and moved to London to make something of myself. To become rich and famous. Not to. You know, I don't have a rich daddy. It's not my fault I was born into this family. It's not what I mean. I, I'm an artist. You see, I can't just admire one beautiful daisy when there are so many other flowers around. You mean you're seeing someone else? It's not what I mean, I just want to be honest with you. Go to hell with your honesty, you jerk. I thought we were serious. Wait. When there is something apart from love between a man and a woman, their relationship sours. Oh, really? Yes. Go to hell. Who said something about love? Artist. Hello again, my friends. First of all, I'm glad to see you all. Secondly, well, I wanted to say goodbye before her maternity leave. After the baby is born, we're going south for a while to stay somewhere on the beach. Isn't it wonderful? Meanwhile, we'll hold the fort here. Thirdly, I have appointed here in a financial director. Please welcome her. Thank you. Back to work. Kostya, I'll go home, okay? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. I'm a bit tired. Boris will drive me home. Okay, sure. I'll come as soon as I can. Bye. Good luck. I'm surprised. On the other hand, that was the lit book I remember. By the way, I want you to meet someone. He's waiting in my office. Come on. Okay. Please meet Ihor Zadan, my nephew. I told you about him. Hi. Hi. He came back from abroad with great references. I've tested him myself. I'm sure he'll be a great addition to the team, considering my new appointment. What exactly are you going to do? Irina told me about your plans to venture into retail. That's what I've been doing lately. Great. Go ahead, Irina. Just like that? Well, baby, shall we celebrate? I'll cook my famous steaks. <laughs> Some young lady will be lucky to have you. Never. Why is that? Because I'm a hunter. <laughs> 
sedentary life isn't for me. I have different plans. What are they, if I may ask? Wine, right? Well, first, a huge house. The Lipbuck Empire. Tons of fun girls. Right. Thank you. Mom would be happy to see us together. God rest her soul. I just did what I promised her. Help you get education, give you a start in life. I wouldn't make it without you, you're amazing. Now is your turn. Everything might turn out well. What do you mean? I have some ideas, but they need some working on. Thank you. Can I ask you something? Did you and Litvak have an affair? Then he married someone else, and you keep working for him. Are those ideas of yours related to him? Yes. I can understand him. The girl is pretty. What do you all see in this mousy twat? Even you couldn't take your eyes off her. Don't you see it? She is out of this world. An alien, a different race. He saw it in her and tamed her. Please cut this bullshit. I'll wipe this happiness off his face. And hers, alien. Enjoy your meal. I think this is perfect. Yes, it's nice. Exactly what we need for the store chain. I think it's a good investment. Women need stores like this one. Have a cup of coffee with friends, talk to the designers, order whatever they need. Sort of ladies club of home comfort. Great idea. By the way, I talked to the Italian designer, the accessories suppliers, too. I've also translated all paperwork for the customs. Wait, you shouldn't overstretch yourself. Costia, pregnancy isn't a disease, but natural state. I called the center. I miss the kids. You will come back after the baby is born. Stasia is coming back soon. Right. Do you think she has changed? Is she in love? Who is he? Here. Wow. Is he a decent one? I don't know, she wouldn't say, but he's madly in love with her. How do you know? Only loving eyes can see a woman like this. Excuse me. Harry, I'm sorry. Delete messages. Hi, kiddo. Hi. Are you crying? I'm an idiot. Why? Harry and I had a fight. Like an idiot. I bought fruits and wine and went to him to make up. And he was there with another girl. So his name is Harry, lesson one. Never show up without a call. Especially if you don't like surprises. The way he looked at me. The things he said to me. I thought he, he and I. But he. Maybe it's to the best. What's to the best? It's good that it happened now. Think about it. Before you became his wife or the mother of his children, there is nothing worse than a betrayal by someone you love. 
But I do love him. What if I never love anyone like this again? If not like this, you'll love in a different way. Love has many faces. How do you know? What can I say? Almost all books in the world talk about it. Also, Granny said so. Why would I want those books if he doesn't want me? We want you. I do. Your dad. We love you so much. You will have lots of love and happiness in your life. You'll get your degree, come back, and everything will be fine. You'll see, I promise. Thank you. We're so lucky to have you. Love you. Bye. Have patience. We'll meet each other very soon. Your dad and I can't wait. I'll see you in a couple weeks. Don't believe her, baby. Don't believe your dad. Either. Grown-ups always lie. What are you doing here? What do you want? Me? Nothing. I used to want kids, just like you. How did you manage to harness him? He wouldn't let me change anything in this house. You. Didn't he tell you? Yes. We used to be together three years. I don't think I'm the best audience for your reminiscences. He wouldn't let me have a baby either. A couple of kids could already be jumping on these stairs. It's not true. God, how can one be so naive? Do you think he was a monk before you? I don't care. Do you care that he still visits me? I expect him for dinner tonight. Why don't you call him and ask about his plans? You should leave. You won't be able to break us up no matter what you do. <laughs> How adorable. Was he your first? Second? Third? Right. You're a lady, aren't you? I have no desire to listen to this. All men are traitors. It's in their nature. They find silly little girls like you. Get out. <laughs> How scary. Look at you, a tigress. You're nothing but a stray cat. And he'll dump you anyway. Get out of here. Where are your manners? Is that how your professor grandmother raised you? I used to want kids, just like you, yes. We used to be together, three years. He wouldn't let me have a baby, either. A couple of kids could already be jumping on these stairs. Do you care that he still visits me? 
All men are traitors. It's in their nature. He'll dump you anyway. Alayo. Alaya. It's me, Boris. Mr. Litvak, we were able to save your wife and my son. No, I'm very sorry. We did everything we could, but we are not omnipotent. Mr. Litvak, one more thing, your wife won't be able to have children. How is the baby? Have you seen him? Who does he look like? Can I see my son? Elia, listen. It happened so. That our baby. Our baby, he is. Is he gone? God doesn't send angels to sinners. They come back to heaven. What were you doing in the woods? Tell me. I promise I'll understand. It doesn't matter now. I spent up a story for myself. Life isn't like that. People are also different. How is she? Not good. Not good at all. So you'll have to cover for me, okay? Sure. Thanks. Let's go. My friends, Irina will be in charge of the company for some time. Excuse me, I have to go. Maybe she is an alien. 
Hi, I need you. Thanks. What is this Alaya playing at? Looks like she didn't tell her husband about me. Why? Because she loves him. She didn't believe you. Why? Because she doesn't want to ruin everything they have. She's an idiot. Not an alien. Never mind. The game has just begun. I have great plans. And you will help me make them happen. For starters, you will be my deputy starting tomorrow. I need you to lead as many investment projects as possible. That's not something I'm afraid of. I'm prepared to turn over the company's strategy. I need concrete actions. Let him babysit his Alaya. And let him give me everything he has. I have established connections with some important people in the region's government. If we are prepared to pay, we can take over a few big regional infrastructure facilities. Why a few? I want it all. Isn't it thrilling? It is. Don't you feel pity for Litvak and his wife? He didn't take pity on me. He slept with me. I aborted his babies. And then he found the love of his life. It's okay. But everything has its price. Even love. Am I interrupting? No. I blame myself for everything that happened. I spent too much time at work and wasn't with you at that moment. I don't blame anyone. I think it would be easier to get through this if we are together. I miss you so much. I don't know how to help you. I can handle it. Just give me some time. God, I need your advice so much. Maybe I should tell him everything. I can feel that he really loves me. And Irina is a liar. But what if she isn't? He always said she was irreplaceable. Kostya, you should quit this. It has been a month. And I still can't figure out what happened on that day. Why did Eli go to the woods? 
And why does she refuse to tell me why? Why, Boreo? If you had installed the cameras I had been insisting on for two years, maybe I would be able to give you an answer. What do cameras have to do with it? What is this, drinking on empty stomach? I'm not hungry. You aren't hungry. She isn't hungry. I can't even look at you both anymore. Relax. Stasia. Baby, hi, Stasia. When did you last talk to Alaya? Just now, Dad. She asked me not to come. She wouldn't even talk to me. I don't know what to do. For starters, turn the drama down. I've been reading up on her condition. Dad, it happens to women even after a normal delivery. It's called postpartum depression. In her case, it will pass with time. Do you want me to sit and watch her fading away? I discussed her. Do you understand? Well, psychologists say you need a distraction. Both you and her. Dad, you're strong. Yes. Sorry. Your dad has been moping around. I'll take both myself and the situation under control. Thank you, baby. I'm sorry. It's okay, Dad. Okay, bye. Mr. Litbuck, despair is a sin. If God sent you this test, it means you need it for some reason. You just need to figure out what it is. Stop drinking, go to the office and get back to business. Irina can manage more or less, but it's not the same. Everything is falling apart. Her view on many things is different. I have found out she decided to stop supporting Elias Center. Alaya, the kids at your center, they are waiting for you. I called Svitlana. The center needs to grow. It's time for some renovations. We'll buy new equipment, computers, books. We can hire the best specialists. Tell me, what do I need to do to bring you back to life? Right. You're right. The center needs support. Please don't abandon them. I can't work with children anymore. I'm not strong enough to watch other people's kids growing up. I'll find something else. Okay. Tell me what you want. Yeah. I'll do anything for you. You're the boss. What do you need me for? Eli has been thinking about it for a while. I showed her a space for a store before it happened. She wants to start a sort of a women's club. Ready-made designer solutions for any taste in wallet, you know? Yes, it's a great idea, but what is my role in it? There is a problem. The financial side, reports, taxes, all this stuff. She needs someone to help her. At least at first. You mean me? No. I can't do that. I'm too busy, considering my new job. Besides, Alaya won't accept help from me. Why? Because she doesn't like me. She knows that you and I. I whore, on the other hand, my nephew. Great. He was in charge of retail, right? Exactly. Great idea. Kostya. Don't worry. I'll talk to him. Thank you.
will come out. Good girl. This is your surprise. You'll see it for yourself. I don't want to distract you. I'll come pick you up later. Bye. Come on, go. Cameo. Hello, Mrs. Litbuck? Hi, just Alaya. I whore. The manager will join us any minute now. Meanwhile, I'll show you around. This is the commercial area. This is the customer's area. This spot is reserved for the consultants. There is another one, but I'll show it to you later. The premises are very large and beautiful. Funny. This is exactly how I pictured it. So comfy and at the same time so contemporary. We did our best. Who did the design? I did. I horse Dan. The manager. Are you the owner? I suppose so. Okay. I'll leave you to it. I'll be around if you need me. Victoria, please give Eleonora a tour. Sure. Let's go. Sure. Hi, Costia. I'm done. Please come get me as soon as you can. No. I mean... Yes. I liked it. You look flabbergasted. Did the manager scare you? What's his name? I horse Dan. And no. I want to buy this store. It's ours. Enjoy it. You don't understand. I want to buy it for myself. I've been thinking what I should do with Granny's apartment. What a weird idea. Buying what's already yours. There's nothing weird about it. Leave her be. Thank you. Can you believe it? They are older than I am. Maybe even older than Granny. Ihor has an idea how to use them in a design. Ihor, Ihor, he's all you're talking about. He's been a great help. I wouldn't be able to do it without him. Yes, Ihor, yes, almost done. You can call the movers, thanks. He has fingers in every pie. Lara. You see, for the store to look like I want, you need to put your heart into it. Not everyone can do it. You mean this one can? This one can. Oh, girl, well. This store is a dream come true. 
Yes. Thank you for it, I whore. Is Mr. Lipbuck going to come see the finished project? He hasn't been here even once. What if he doesn't like it? I didn't want to show him the unfinished version. He will be at the opening. Actually, he trusts my taste. Right. In any case, I'm grateful for... Oops. Oops, watch out. In any case, I'm grateful for our cooperation. And now I need to get back to my day job. If you ever need me. I will need you because I can't do it. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have. Alaya? Alaya, darling. Are you okay? What is it? Relax. Everything will be fine with your store, I promise. You'll open it and start a new life. No, 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 I don't want a new life. I want my old one. My old one. It's amazing. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay, go mingle. Get used to your role. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you for coming. Well, she looks good. Having a project suits her. Thank you for giving me an idea. She did a good job. Of course. Organizing everything so quickly. Did she work on her own? Mostly. The manager took care of the finances. Zan, he's a sharp guy. I don't see him here, by the way. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Thank you. Your Alaya is so smart. I have already found something for my house. It's a great store. Congratulations. Thanks. It's so beautiful. Great ambience. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. It's a success. Right, thank you. Hi, I whore. Hi, Mr. Lipa. Congratulations, I'm impressed. It's all Eleonora. Right. I'll go join the guests. Sure. You're not going to abandon her in the very beginning of her journey, are you? Your wife is a very fast learner. I'm sure she can handle it on her own. Of course, but she needs time to relax. She looks like she's on a brink of a nervous breakdown. You can count on me. Thank you. Friends, Alaya. Today, I'm as happy as I can be. Because the woman I love dearly is happy. Congratulations on your success. Congratulations. Truth be told, I didn't expect it to be so good. So good that I don't want to stop at one store. Let it become a chain of stores, which are so useful to our fair ladies. By the way, I'm going on a business trip tomorrow, and I plan to look at some locations for future stores. If the owner doesn't mind, of course. Of course I don't mind. Let's drink to it. Congrats. Boss and I haven't spent a night at a hotel for a while. Just don't go to any shady joints, food. You're staying in charge. Make sure everything's fine. I was given a leave. What for? Alaya said I could go visit my family while you're away. I horse Dan.
was Why don't you call before showing up next time? She went missing. She hasn't been answering her phone for 24 hours. Who? Alaya, of course. She wasn't at the shop either. She must be suffering from moral dilemma, to cheat or not to cheat. You know. For ladies like her it can be a problem. She must be wallowing in her misery at her house. Irina. What shall I do? Fine. Here. What is it? A key to Litbox gate. Just be careful. Boris says he put cameras all over the garden. Okay. I didn't think you were like this. Like what? I thought you were cold, like Snow Maiden. Not knowing what love is. I thought so, too. I really want to make you happy. Otherwise, what is all this for? In. Three colors of love. Oh God. Whatever. Kostya, are you in the parlor? Surprise. Hi. Stasia. I didn't mean to wake you up. I'm sorry. Is Dad asleep? He's on a business trip. Then let my surprise be a secret. Alaya. Daddy is here. Episode 3 Hi Hi, what are you doing here? I missed you Are you okay? I'm fine Here, it's for you, my dear girls Why aren't you in London? 
Take off your coat, and I'll tell you. Well, did she just surrender? Well, she said something along the lines, no, don't, not here, but my Sturm and Drang tactics worked like a clock. What are your plans? Enjoy the passion of a melting snow maiden. Something about her chastity turns me on. It feels as if I were her first. It will get old soon. We need to use this touch me not somehow, otherwise, your snow maiden might melt down and evaporate. Where would she go? Or why? Hello. I whore. Snap out of it, I'm talking business here, or are you in love with her? No, it's not my style. Cuckolding Mr. Lipbuck. On the other hand, it's so thrilling. Be careful, Lipbuck can destroy anyone. I'm not a little noy. Either, right? Okay, let me play a little longer. Then we'll see. Anyway, Dad, I prefer to learn hands-on, not listening to someone's lectures. Theory is the foundation, and practice is the building which you construct all your life. Look at Alaya. She just went and started her own business, a successful one, as far as I can see. By the way, why don't we go there? No, you should spend time with your dad. We missed you so much. Yes, you're right. Lara, what smells so nice in the oven? Your favorite honey pie. <laughs> Excuse me, it's my supplier. That's what business is like, not a dull moment. I whore Stan, I'm waiting. Delete message. What is it? An offer you can't refuse? Yes, I need to go. What do you mean, go, Alaya? Your hands are like ice. Are you okay? Can't someone else do it for you? Where is your Zadan? He's out of town. Besides, it's my business. Okay, I'll ask Boris, then. He needs rest after all this driving. Kostya, I've got it. What's going on with her? Elia hasn't been herself after everything that happened. I'm doing my best. Sometimes she seems fine, and sometimes she's like this. It's okay. We can handle it together. We're family. Don't tell me you're primping up for a business meeting. Lara, I'm the worst person in the world. What happened? Tell me, you'll feel better. I won't. I need to fix it. Fix what, Alaya? Hi. Listen, what happened between us? Wait, why don't you come in? Everything that happened between us is a big mistake. I love my husband, and I'm not going to deceive him. Let's say it was a regretful aberration. But it's not true. You love me, and you know it. It doesn't matter anymore. Please quit your job at the store. We shouldn't be seeing each other. Okay. I can quit. But what about my feelings? Should I quit them too?
It has already happened. We can't take it back. You can't fight a hurricane or a volcano eruption. It's stronger than us. So when I was certain about London. Here comes the lady of the house. Here she comes. Give me a minute. Hi. Finally, hi. How are you? I'm fine. Are you well? Yes, I'm fine. Hey, when will it be ready? Everything is going fine. Who are they? My friends, I'll introduce you. Guys, I want you to meet Alaya, my beloved stepmother. Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm sorry. I need a minute to relax after work. I'll join you later. How are you? Your hands are warm. Thank God. You scared me this morning. Shall we? We have company. You should stay. Okay. Well, let's eat. Let's. Make sure the glasses are full. She is acting strange today, don't you agree? I don't think so. She's acting normal. Let's start with the red. To love. Cheers. 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 What's going on? Tell me what happened. You'll feel better. I can't. Listen, baby. No matter what you've done, I'll still love you. I just want to help, okay? You can't. What is it you've done? I fell in love with Lara. Listen. God tests each of us. You know, to find out if you're a good person or trash. It's very important that you don't let it break you. I'm so worried for Kostya. He trusts me so much. Here's what I'll tell you. This is what I would do in your place. First of all, don't tell your husband. This truth will kill him. Yes. Second. Let this passion find a way out, or it will burn you from the inside. It's a natural disaster. Have you had some rest? Let's go on a beach vacation. Just the sand, the palms, and the two of us. Of course. It's just... What? I was going to announce it without audience. Well, okay. Daughter. Here's a present from your dad. A small but cozy condo. Take it. Daddy, you're the best. In this case, I also want to give you something. I'll send my designers to plan the redecorating. Let's do it together tomorrow. And I'll finally see your store. Okay.
Let's celebrate. Let's. Your keys need christening. Stasia, come on. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to Ihor Zodin, you have three days off. Come on in, take a look. What do you think? Fantastic. Amazing. Stasia, do you like it? No. I don't need help. I want to decorate it myself with my own hands. Stasia, seriously? Please don't feel bad. I already see what I want to do here. The curtains, the tchotchkes, minimalistic furniture. I'll do it all myself. You are a Litvek, you're doing the right thing. At least let me pay for the textiles. Okay. Yes, shall we go to the store? Sure. Let's go. Let's. Do you like it? It's cool. I like it. We'll also find you a light neck curtain. You can look at them later. So far this one is the best, right? It's a nice place you have here. Yes, that's what I was trying to do. And you did it. The business is thriving. I saw the numbers. This Stan is a good manager. Where is he, by the way? At the main office. I guess he has a lot of work there. His work here is finished. Now he'll only keep an eye on the books. He must be a really cool guy. How old is he? Around 30. Is he married? I don't know. I didn't ask. You know what? We could use your pictures as accents in the design. They are stunning, by the way. How are things with Harry? You guys still don't talk. We don't. It's just two or three weeks. Depending on Elias' wish, you stay in charge. Okay. As they say, appreciate the trust. Ask Sodden to keep an eye on Elias' store. I know he is busy here. He can handle it. If Stasia finds something she likes at the store, it's on the house. Okay, I'll let them know. What is it she might need? I bought her an apartment. I want both my girls to be happy. Thank you. Talk to your officials. It's time. Colleagues, I want to finally introduce you to each other. Irina Sudovsova, Financial Director and Mr. Lipuk's second in command. Mykola Slapsov. Hi. Uh, Ivan Proshkin. I'm happy to see that the partner we've been looking for all this time turned to be a charming lady. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> well, Ihor has told me about your plans. I must say they look enticing. It's not just enticing, it's the entire budget of the region that requires skillful optimization. The projects that have already been implemented by your company are evidence that you can do it. Our biggest advantage is that we always prioritize our partners' interests. <laughs> well, in this case, let's discuss our project.
Hi, what can I do for you? Hi, I'd like to talk to a designer. I'm decorating my new apartment and I need a pro. You are in the right place. Please give me a minute. Cool, thanks. I whore. There is a new client planning a large order. From designs to implementation, maybe you should. Yes, Victoria, thank you. Hi, I'm Ihor, the manager. Uh, Asia. Nice to meet you, Asia. Nice to meet you. What can I do for you? Yes, I walk into your store and saw it's exactly what I need for my new condo. We could make an appointment to take a look at your condo. How about today? I would take the measurements and send them to the designers to get them started. And then you would discuss the creative side with them. Asia. Yes, yes, let's do it. Now? Mm -hmm. I'll get my coat, okay? Sure. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Cameo. What do you think? It's cool, you know. Mine isn't so shabby, either. Which one is yours? Over there. The red one? Yes. Race you. Race you? We be of one blood, E and I, right? Sorry. Elia, look at these. Fresh from the garden? They are so fresh, they're almost squeaking. Squeak, squeak. I'd like to have a perfume with the scent. We'll find you one. I'll do anything for you. Turn every rock.
You know, she is quite a character when she looks at me. I. You'd be an idiot to let her go. Who said I was going to? What about your beautiful snow maiden? She has been trying to break up with me all this time. No, no, my darling. Here is what you need to do. Now, as a gentleman, you have to marry me. I'm ready. Asia, is it short? For Anastasia. Stasia. Stasia. Stanislava. It's my full name. Litvuk. Litvuk? Yes. I didn't tell you, for most people. It doesn't matter who I am, only that I'm a Litvak. I'm not most people. I whore. Are you mad at me? You should have said something when we met. At least it would be honest. I whore. I whore. Come on, don't be mad at me. I whore. Don't be mad at me. Let's get out of here. So, as a decent person, I have to. Will you marry me? Well. <laughs> Why don't you say anything? Is it yes or no? Yes, of course it's a yes. Yes? Yes. Will you try it on? Do you like it? Yes. I have to ask you a little favor. Yes? A tiny one, let's not tell your family just yet. Why? Because I don't want them to think I'm with you because of any way. I'm already done with this store. Okay. I'm expecting a promotion at your father's holding, Mr. Litvuk's, as soon as... We'll tell them and get married. And we'll have an old school wedding with a cake and a veil, right, right? Mm -hmm. A cake and a veil.
Dear colleagues, can I have a moment of your attention? I'd like you to know that Ihor is coming back on his original job as my full-time deputy director. Please welcome him. Ihor will work on new projects with the regional administration. One, two, Stasia. I made it in time. The flight has already landed. Dad called and said they'll be here soon. Good. Laura. Yes? I'm so happy. With a whore. Yes. Why are you so moody? It's just happening so fast. I'm worried. Come on. Everything is fine. Just please don't tell Dad and Alaya just yet, okay? I'll tell them later. I have my reasons. Well, if you have reasons... Hi. Hi, you're glowing. Yes. What happened? Something is going on in my life, but it's a secret. Give us a hint. Should we organize a wedding or buy a stroller? As I said, it's a secret. Better tell me about your vacations. Of course we will. I got her into a taxi. Our dragon flea is flying home. She's in love. I'm telling you, she looks so beautiful. She's doing great, isn't she? Alaya, what's wrong? I'm sorry. It's just that as soon as I came into the house, it started again. Where are you going so early? Please don't ask. Stop. You shouldn't go to him. Do you hear me? I love him. Lara, I want to see him, and I can't help it. It will burn out. Remember how Capitolina always said to use your brain. Do you think she was happy? She never talked about my grandfather. Was she able to make my mom happy? I don't have answers to your questions, but I know it takes little time to destroy everything and then realize it wasn't worth it. He wasn't worth it, you know. Maybe you're right. What's going on with her? She isn't herself. What are you doing here? I thought you were on vacations. Why didn't you call? I thought, wait, wait, what are you doing? I don't care. I can't take it anymore. I'm leaving Kostya. My darling. It would make me the happiest man. But. But what? I can't keep lying to him. He doesn't deserve it. I'll tell him today. Listen, whatever will be, will be. My mother raised me as a single parent. She held three nursing jobs to make sure I had everything to give me education and a chance to emerge from this poverty. She was working herself to exhaustion. And one day her heart stopped. 
ее сердце не выдержало. She always had big dreams for me. She wanted me to be a big boss and do big things. She also wanted me to meet a girl, the best girl in the world. To fall in love with her and make her happy. So that this girl would be safe with me. I don't know what you mean. I promised her it would happen. It will, of course it will. It won't. Your husband will destroy me. And you too. No, Kostya isn't like that. He will understand. He will let me go, wait. I'll sell everything, I'll sell the store, we'll go away, and I will start over. Maybe your Kostya would let you go, but the powerful Litvak will not let such an insult go. You don't know him. No, you don't know him. Empires like his are being built on blood. So what shall we do? Trust me. I'll do everything to make you happy. Just give me some time. We need to be patient. I will call you. I need to go now. We should stop seeing each other for some time. I love you. You didn't see her face. She's crazy, she says. I can't lie to him, so let's go away together. So this alien is too tough for you. I don't need your comments, Irina, what shall I do? What if she really does? I can't kill her, can I? Are you out of your mind? Calm down, and thank gods for your smart aunt, well. We'll have to destroy the Litvak's happy family. Sit down, and listen what you need to do. Go home, my darling, in your bedroom, on a bookshelf. You'll find this device. Darling, 
Who is here without a call? Wrong address. Ошиблись. Are you okay? Lady, are you all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? Maybe we should call an ambulance. No. Can you drive? Could you drive my car to a place not far from here? Sure. Where is she? It's late. I'm worried. What is it? I'm sorry. I fell in love with another man. I've been punished for my lies. Don't look for me. Not now. Not ever. Goodbye. I don't deserve you. Forgive me. No, this is crazy. Just crazy. A package for you. Someone shoved it under the gate. They are doctored. My business rivals. It must be them. And the text must be from them too, really. Okay, Boris, call your men. We need to find her. Come on, go. The guard said she had left in Stage's car. So what? It's not a crime. I decided to look through the old security footage. Here's what I found. It's the day you and I were on a business trip. This isn't doctor. Who is he? I don't know. Laura, who is he? I don't know. She never told me. I'll try to find out. What for, Boris? What if she loves him? You're right. Let her go. Hey, you scared us. Get up. How did I? You came here and fainted right after telling Petrovic not to call anyone. He called me anyway. You didn't tell anyone that I'm... Not yet. Good. What have you done? Svetlana, I'll tell you some other time. If that's what you want, I have other things to worry about. I've got a letter on ceasing the financial support from Litvak. Signed by the financial director, and I, Sudovtsova. I see. I couldn't get him on the phone, and all she told me was, it's the company's decision, Alaya. Does it have something to do with you? I don't know. How will I pay the rent? 
the expenses. We might have to move out. We aren't moving out. Do we have a good lawyer? I can find one. We'll put up a fight. Sure. Boss? Yes. Here are some papers you need to sign. Okay, let me sign them. Give me a pen. Done. Don't you want to read what you're signing? I don't care. Let Irina read it. She's already making all the decisions. Good for her. One more thing. Alaya wants to sell the store. Great. It's fantastic, Boris. Let her sell, it's hers. Let her sell it. Leave her be Laura, pour me some more of this magic. What does it mean? Can I get a glass of booze in my own house? Boris, go to hell. Good thing I have my own stash. Kostya. Do I have to do everything myself? Everything. Kostya. Mr. Litbuck. Call an ambulance. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi. Are you waiting for someone? Looks like you're a girl. Where are your parents? Can I take a look? Okay? Three colors of love. Well, Lisa, shall we go? Let's go. Let's go. Yes, Daddy is coming. Daddy will play cars with us. Dad works all the time. Episode 4. Hi, son. Here he is. Go to Daddy. Come here, sweetheart. Do you like the car? Take a look. No, you don't. It's like Daddy's. Daddy will go to work, make some money, and buy you a real car just like this one, okay? Do you want a real car? No. No? Okay, bye. I'm going to work. Right. Mommy will be right back, I whore. Is it about work again? I think it's time. Mommy. At least half time. Mommy. See, son, mom is more interested in a job than in you and me. It's not true. I just don't want to become a housewife. Mommy. In general, I agree, but I need to give it more thought, okay? Daddy. Mommy. Bye, baby. Daddy. Mommy. Yes, come here. My darling, let's go outside, Lara. We're ready for a walk. Let's go out with Grandpa, okay? Let's go for a walk with Grandpa, okay? Here's our Grandpa. Lara will come with us, too. Get in. Mommy. Mommy is here. The other leg. Let's go. Catch. 
Capitolina Special Children's Center. Okay, birth certificate, mother's death certificate. There is the father's name, too. I don't know. The mother could have given any name. Did your daddy bring you here? Okay, okay, we don't have to talk about it, you know? I have this cool book. It's about planets, stars, and constellations. Do you want to take a look? Do you like plants? Want to water them? Here. She is in the middle of the specter. I thought it was worse. We can work with this. If she stays with us, Maybe it's the chance we've been waiting for for two years. Boys, first we need to figure out what the sentence will be just in case. It's budget money. What are you afraid of? If we do it the right way and bribe the right people, we can provide for our old age. We'll never have to think about such things again. We'll enjoy life under palm trees. Yes, it's not the tidbits we've been stealing from the company for two years. We need to think hard. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> you can solve any problem if the price is right. I'll do it. But it will cost you. Girls have it harder in jail than boys. So either this, or I'll pass. You can be very convincing. Okay. We haven't dealt with this kind of money yet. I can't breathe. By the way, what were you going to tell me? Uh, right, Stasia said this morning that she was going to get back to work. She wants to build up her career and multiply her family business. So that daddy would get proud of her and came back to life. You can't just let go, Litbucks, can you? Oh, the girl Wednesday. Why Wednesday? So that I didn't mix them up. I can't remember old names. I give each one a nickname and a day of the week. Bye, my dear. Let Stasia get back to work. It might even come in handy. She wants to work? No problem. Come in. This is where I live, okay. Let's take this off. Come on in. Do you like them? You can play with them if you want. I also have some children's books here. My grandmother used to read them to me. Take a look, by the way. This is my granny. Her name was Capitolina.
Yes, Yuri, I understand. Thank you so much. Yes, goodbye. Well. So, the girl's mother is really dead, but she has a father whom her mother divorced a few years ago, according to the police database. He is currently abroad. So what will happen to Lisa? As a special needs child. She can stay at the center. Good thing you have an apartment. We can start on the paperwork today. Thank you. Okay, I'll go get her settled. Sure. I really hope that Stanislava will bring the Litvak spirit back into our company. We really need it. I also am happy to announce that our big joint project with the city administration was approved by the authorities. I'm sure our young talented colleagues will be able to handle it properly. We're always there for you on case you need us. Back to work. Come on, come on. Oh no, please. I can't think straight. I can barely see the letters. You have two. Right here. Just a few signatures. You have two. Got it. Besides. You don't have to do it at home. Is that it? Two more pages. You're my hero. Your reward for this is a trip to the beach with your son and husband. Later this month. Okay, I'll launch the project and we'll go. That's what I had in mind. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Shall I take a pic? All right. With me? Okay. Let's do it, right? Okay. My dear girl. Knock, knock. Just look at this. You're so pretty, Alaya. Can we talk for a minute? He showed up. What can Miss Soka? I'd father give her. We've been working with her for a month and got no results. This girl needs constant care. Not a father hanging around at some islands. Sit down and relax. We haven't seen him yet. We don't know who he is. What does it matter? Svetlana, where has he been all this time? Lounging under a palm tree? Why doesn't he go back there? He's on his way. Ah. He's already here. Okay. What do you mean? I can understand when a person has some special circumstances, but this... I'll show him. Please control yourself. He is her father, and you are no one. We'll see about that. I told you not to get attached to someone else's baby. I have no other attachments, and you know it. 
After what happened to her, you should have learned your lesson. Yes. You're right. Svitlana. I should have, you know what I've been thinking. If not for Ihor coming into my life, if not for everything that happened, I wouldn't have met Lisa. Hi. Hi. Are you Liz's father? I am. We need to talk. Come in. Sorry. I was working, honestly. I'm glad Lisa ended up with you. I somehow think you are exactly what she needs now. Do you have her picture? She is. <laughs> exactly how I pictured her. She's beautiful. Yes, she's a great kid. She deserves a better fate and a better family. Wipe off the stupid smirk. Okay, I understand. You divorced your wife, but she is dead. And your child was left alone, not just a child, a special needs child. I didn't know my ex-wife was dead. After the divorce, she went away and remarried. She asked me to stay away from her new family, and I did. I sent child support regularly. She'd tell me that Lisa is fine. She'd tell you. You are irresponsible. I'll be straight with you. I'll make sure you don't get custody. Can I see Lisa? Unfortunately, you can. The law is on your side. So far, by the way, I'm Eleonora. Elia. It's Eleonora for you. Okay. Eleonora, it is. You said a special needs child. What does it mean? You didn't know even this. When I look at him, I always think of Alaya. Hush. You, sometimes I feel like he hears and understands everything. We agreed we won't talk about this Alaya. Maybe we should talk about her. Maybe it will bring him back to life. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. How have you been? Shall we go? By the way, I forgot to tell you guys, we're entering a new stage. Ihor and Irina are doing great. I don't quite understand it yet, but I'll figure it out. I'm a lit back. After all, okay, we're out of here. Lit back. Come in. Hi. Hi, Minette. Yeah, to I'm your daddy. Papa. I've brought something. I've uploaded some educational games on it. We can also talk online if you want, even at night. I'm a night owl.
What about you, Lelia? T. You... you look a lot like your mom, except that she was always laughing. We will learn to laugh and talk. You should come to the center every day to establish contact. Lisa needs time to get used to you. Eleonora can help, by the way, right? Alaya is worried about Lisa. She got attached to her. Excuse her. Okay. You two catch up. Alaya. Alaya, wait. Please wait for me. See? He isn't the monster you thought he was. Lisa isn't scared of him, rather the opposite. Sure, I know. I'm the monster here, Svetlana. I'm nobody to Lisa, you're right. One has to pay for their mistakes. I deserve it. What can I say? It's a smart solution. Even if someone comes out, you will have nothing to do with it. <laughs> Setting up the princess. Well done, well done. Right, unless some smartass accidentally finds our accounts. They won't. I took care of that. It would take one a lifetime to get to the end of the thread. Lifetime sounds good. I just wonder if someone will notice the unusual activity in the company's accounts. It's about millions. That's my responsibility. My wife and I are taking our kid on a beach vacation. As you know, the nominal owner of the company is, so there will be no one to check the accounts. Mykola, are you sure about your hacker? You and I, you're insulting me. Have we had any problems in these two years? I was glad to help, Major, of course. Anyone in my place would do that. I hope my previous transgressions are forgotten now. Thank you, thank you. I was glad to be of help. Let's go. You're doing great. It was a hard day today. Hard? Why? Hi. 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 I've brought a program. It's meant for nonverbal kids like her. I've read as many of your books as I had time for, about the cognitive abilities and all that. Anyway, take a look. Maybe you'll find it useful. Communication takes place between persons, not a person and a computer. Yes, but all the suggestive methods. I prefer old methods. I want you to know that I have limited screen time for Lisa. I hope you will support me. Yes, I will. I wanted to invite you to the climbing gym. What are you talking about? It's dangerous. It's also fun. She'll be fine, I promise. Shall we?
I've got you. Okay, that's enough. Put her down. Okay, okay. Are you hurt? I told you it was dangerous. Please? Did she just? Yes. Lisa, say it again. Let's go together. Of course. Let's do it. If Aliyah doesn't mind. What are you guys doing to me? Good job. Great. Are you coming down? Yes. Start climbing down. Why don't we go to my place and order pizza? I want pizza. I'll be right back. It's okay. It's okay, good. Teacher wife dumps an oligarch husband. Who said you could snoop around in my life? Rummaging in this internet dumpster. What do you want to know? Something. You don't want to talk to me. But you're an important person for Lizo. Which means for me, too. From this moment on, we'll only talk in court or through social services, got it? Wait. Lisa, Lisa, baby, you can stay with your dad if you want to. Just please calm down. Okay, you're okay, you're fine. Don't scold daddy, daddy is nice. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have spied on you. It's just that you're always so sad. As if someone hurt you really bad. For two years, I had been trying to forget my old life. I thought I had, I feel as if I was caught stealing. Go inside. I'll open.
Stanislava Litvak. It's me, and you are. You'll have to come with us. Why? You're charged with grand embezzlement of public funds. Eleonora? Are you crazy? I have a class. I thought you needed to know here. Breaking news. Stasia. This is crazy. It can't be true. I know, but it says she was arrested and is in jail now. The prosecution has irrefutable proof that she stands behind the embezzlement. Or it's Litvak who only pretends to be sick. This is crazy. I told you about them. Keep reading here. It also causes suspicion that Miss Litvak's husband Ihor Stan and the financial director, Irina Sudovsova, are missing. Missing? What does it mean? Just what it sounds like. They've transferred the money to some offshore account and disappeared. Listen, can you find out more about all this? Not from the mass media, but through your hacker friends, please. Of course. What if the prosecution gets to our asses first? What shall we do then? It won't. They are busy with your wifey. By the way, I have a question. How did they find her so quickly? Your friends were telling us about those super hackers who will make sure nothing ever comes out. I don't know. We have so much money. We never even dreamed of it. The Litbacks deserve it. Kostya sits there like a vegetable, and his Alaya wipes other vegetables' noses. Will you ever calm down? This girl lived with her father and her stepmother. A stepmother? What's that? <laughs> the girl's mom probably went to heaven, like yours, and her dad married another woman. So she became the girl's mom? Yes. Like you are for me, are you my stepmother? I'm your friend. I don't want you to be my friend. I want you to be my stepmother. Alaya, when you have a minute, can you meet me in Spitlina's office? Yes, of course, as soon as Lisa falls asleep. Okay. You can go, I can sleep on my own. You're such a big girl. Good night. Alaya, look. They found traces of some scheme, and then it unraveled. Judging by what they found, it's a bomb. We're talking millions. Do you know anything about it? Oh, wow, this is ridiculous. What are you going to do? Atone for my sins. I'll get it. Who the hell is it? What are you doing here? I can help Stasia, Kostya, and his firm. We can handle it. You should have thought of them earlier. I have proof that there are different people behind the embezzlement. Stasia was used as a patsy. Let's come inside. Is Kostya at home? Where else would he be? He doesn't recognize anyone after his stroke. He doesn't talk, either.
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Where did you get all this? Are you in here in a behind all this? Probably. I had signed some papers. They were founding these companies, and I didn't know why. Ihor said it was necessary to expand the business, and I believed him. Can you write it all down? You'll send it to me through the lawyer I've hired for you. Boris will get it all to the prosecutor's office. The visit is over. Why did you leave my father? I fell in love with someone else. Desperately and passionately. I couldn't help it. Why didn't you tell me? I would understand. I fell in love then, too. And it was also desperate and passionate. We would come up with something together. Who was he? Do I know him? No, that man is gone. All I wanted was to be with him. Be his nurse. His caretaker. To bear my cross. On the other hand, what if he does recognize me? Remembers who I am? No. But I will be visiting him anyway. That's the right thing to do. He is your husband. <clears throat> How are you doing? Okay. Have you two made friends? Good boy. The papers are already at the prosecutors. The guy said they would come in handy. It appears they are looking for Ihor and Irina. The police has been watching them for a few years, but they needed more evidence. And here I come with a hard drive from our security computer. Can they be that stupid? Ihor knew we had cameras all over the place. What he didn't know is that we put tracking devices on most of our employees' cars a couple years ago, including Irina's, for security reasons. Of course, we didn't need it then, but now it might come in handy. What? Yes. What if they can't make it? Shit. Then we'd have to chase the all over the world. Just text me the address, just in case. No, I'm not getting myself into anything. I'm too old for that. They found them. Okay, what now? Stay put. I'll be right back. Suryai Pitrov, Village Ribni 4, Osania Street.
Enough drinking, get ready to leave. Alaya? Shit. Run. Just a minute. Don't be in a rush. You should turn yourself in and make a confession. Ihor, the prosecution knows all about you and Irina. I missed you so much. I had no idea one can love someone so deeply. I won't let you go again, I won't. Listen to me, listen to me, I'm rich, I can buy you anything you want, anything, I'm independent, I have a house at the Oceanside. You bitch, I won't let you spoil it for me. You can't let it go. Watch out, it's going to explode. Harry Schwetz. Can you say a few words about this exhibition and about the girl in your photos? She is my inspiration, unknowingly. This girl made me a real artist. Living through the separation helped me understand what real love is. So I thought I should bring this exhibition to her home city, who knows? What's next? The case was brought to the court. We are waiting for the sentence. It's obvious what it will be, though. Good thing your ex missed his flight, agreed to cooperate and return the stolen money, but in any case they'll both go away for a long time. When Irina comes out of the hospital, she will be charged with organizing this scheme. That's how it should be, they'll both get their due. Exactly. <laughs> My darlings, come here, hi. Where are they? Maybe she got sick again. The doctor said that there will be no permanent consequences. She's fine. Thank God.
my beloved stepmother.